everyone, it's Miss Carol, and it's story time again, and I'm reading again from Superhero Storybooks, Strong and ba Brave Bible Heroes Who Changed the World for Jesus. This is such a wonderful book. There's so many superheroes that I want to share them all with you, and some of them you already know just from learning about them in Sunday school. So let's talk about the first one. Our first one is Superhero Joshua a mighty and fearless warrior. The Israelites were camped outside the city of Jericho. It was the biggest city in the land of Canaan, the land that God promised to give them to be their new home. Jericho was protected by big, thick walls that completely surrounded the city. The gates of the walls were locked up tight. No one could go out or in. How would Joshua's army get inside? Never fear, God has a plan. After all, he had promised the land to them. Joshua, I will help you capture the city of Jericho, God said. Do exactly what I tell you to do. God told Joshua to do this. March your army all around the city of Jericho once a day for six days. The priests should go first. They should carry their horns but they can't blow them. All of your sh soldiers must be completely silent while they, while they march. On the seventh day, march them around the city seven times. On the seventh time, have the soldiers give a great shout while the priests blow their trumpets. When they, when they do, the big walls around the city will just fall down. Joshua did exactly what God said. While the army marched in silence around the city, the people of Jericho made fun of them and laughed at them. But on the seventh time around, when the soldiers shouted, the walls around Jericho crashed to the ground. Joshua's army rushed into Jericho and captured the whole city. Wow, boys and girls, superhero characteristic. Joshua was very good at listening and doing. Joshua followed God's instructions exactly. He led the people to the city and commanded them to do just what God instructed him to do. Superhero tip. When God gives you instructions and the Bible is full of instructions, it is very important to follow those instructions exactly. Don't try to add your own instructions to what God says. Obey him and see what wonderful things he does for you. So that was superhero Joshua. Our next one is superhero David, the giant slayer. Can a young boy be a superhero? David was. He showed superhero bravery. David's older brothers were soldiers in King Saul's army, and David went to visit them. They were camped on a hill across from the Philistine army. One of the Philistine soldiers, a nine-foot-tall giant named Goliath, kept shouting at King Saul's army. He shouted bad things about God. He challenged them to send someone out to fight him. But King Saul's soldiers were all afraid to fight the giant. David went to King Saul and announced, I'll fight Goliath. King Saul said, you're too little. You can't fight him. But David knew that he had God on his side. He wasn't scared at all. King Saul gave David his own armor to wear so he would be safer. But it was too big on David and he couldn't even walk. David took the armor off and grabbed his slingshot and five smooth stones before he headed down the hill to meet the giant. It made Goliath angry to see that a boy was coming to fight him. Come on, Goliath yelled, I'll feed you to the birds. But David still wasn't scared. He said, you may have a shield and a spear, but I have God on my side. He will help me. He will help me win. David put a stone in his slingshot and swung it around. When he let it go, the stone flew through the air and hit Goliath right in the head. The giant soldier fell to the ground. David 
had one. Superhero characteristic. David was brave and fearless. He wasn't afraid of a big, scary giant. He had God on his side. Superhero tip. David was not foolish to, to be brave, so brave. He was brave because he knew that God would help him win the battle. God will help you too. All you have to do is trust in him. Well, boys and girls, I have one more superhero. Superhero Solomon, a wise and great king. Solomon became king of Israel after his father David died. Solomon tried very hard to obey God and live for him. God saw that King Solomon was serious about obeying him, so he came to Solomon and said, Ask me for anything you want, and I will give it to you. Well, Solomon answered, Oh God, you have blessed me by making me king of Israel. It is a great responsibility to lead your people and make good choices for them. So I ask you to give me wisdom and a heart to understand the people so that I may do a good job leading them. I know that I cannot lead them by myself. I need you to guide me. Oh, God was very pleased that Solomon asked for wisdom and understanding instead of asking for money or to become famous. God answered Solomon's prayer and made him very wise. He also blessed him with lots of money and made him famous. It wasn't long before Solomon needed the wisdom of God. Two women came to him with a problem. Each of them claimed to be the true mother of a baby boy. I'm this baby's real mother, one woman said. She stole him from me during the night. She's lying. He's mine, the other woman cried. How would the king know which woman was telling the truth? Solomon used the wisdom God gave him. Cut the baby in half. Cut ha Give half to each woman, he ordered. Solomon knew that the real mother would say, No, don't hurt him. Let the baby live. She can have him. That's exactly what happened. Now Solomon knew which woman was really the baby's mother. Superhero characteristic. Solomon was very wise. God gave him the ability to know right from wrong. Solomon used his wisdom, wisdom to glorify God. Superhero tip. When you need wisdom to know right from wrong or to make a good decision, ask God to give you his wisdom. The Bible says that if we ask God for wisdom, he will give it to us. Well, boys and girls, we talked about three more superheroes today. So that was, that's fun. I love this storybook. This is wonderful. It, the, these are really superheroes for sure, aren't they? Well, I hope you enjoyed our three superheroes from this week. Next week, I'll read three more. I think by the time we're done, we'll have read the whole book, which will be awesome. So, boys and girls, I hope you're having a good week. And I look forward to reading you a story again next week. And remember, I always say to you that... God is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. And he loves you and he's waiting for you to talk to him. So remember, spend time talking to God and listen for God. And until we meet again, you know, I always say blessings to you all until we meet again. Bye.